the Billion Automotive, Houston Speedway, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, GRC Transportation, number two of David Gravel. Gravel, lap number one, ninth quick, 11, 0, 0, 3, 1, 1, 0, 0, 3. He's won the last two of three appearances of the World of Outlaws and Oz Energy Drink Sprint Cars here at Houston Speedway. Lap number two will jump up to fourth quick at 10, 9, 0, 5. So guys, we're here, first day, the High Bank Nationals at Houston Speedway. Eight times around, top five go to the feature as they make their way to the green flag. It's the 41, of course, Macedo out to the early lead. David Crowell tries to look to the inside, can't make anything happen there. He'll run second into turn at number three. Working the bottom side of the speedway, partner Bryce Miller coming out with the third place car, Giovanni Silzi. He made the move down the back straightaway to get in front of Justin Henderson last time by Henderson right now. Second, Giovanni Sulzi, third, Parker Price Miller in fourth, and Justin Henderson comes home in the fifth spot. Sixth. He said, I'll take it, thank goodness, because on my way in, your mom told me tomorrow is your birthday and that you needed a good draw tonight. Yeah, it was either a six or an eight there, so I drew the six, so that, that's a win in my book. But, uh, you know, a lot's going to happen here in a 30 lap or 35 lap A main here, so hopefully we could gain a spot or two here in a dash. and. Uh, being in the first three rows, I think you have a chance to lap traffic, so um, we were a little bit off there with the race car there in the heat, but that's why uh, getting in a dash is so huge, so we'll see if we get a win for the uh, Billion Automotive guys. Hey, we did the best we could. Happy early birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Our final driver up. To fire at the line, and we're underway with the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. Great start for the nine of Casey Kane. He'll make him into the first turn. It's Mitchell Baston hanging tough with him, and here comes Buddy Coldboy to the inside, looking for second from Baston. Is waving. Night one at Houston's is underway. Good start for Casey Kane. He'll lead him down into the first turn. He's got the 11 of Buddy Copoid right there, based in, in the third spot. Then David Gravel and the one as of Schuhacker, top five. Leading lap number one will be the nine of Casey Kane. Kane holds on to the, the lead, but Copoid is right there. Buddy Copoid all over Casey Kane in heavy traffic. Oh, Copoid up over the cushion, gets sideways, but he'll lose two spots there. Spencer Beeston and David Gravel both slide by. So Beeston up to second, Gravel running in third. But a big run here from Covoy coming back after him. As we say that, the 41 of Carson Macedo makes his way into the top five. Just went by the one as of Logan Schuhart. Give the spot to Macedo as the exit turn number four. Side by side for the second spot. Contact. David Gravel overtakes the 5 of Baston. Gravel up to the second spot. Baston now third, but they bank wheels on the front straightaway. They certainly did. Gravel now sets sail to try to track down the caravan trailers. Number nine of Casey Kane. Covoy and Macedo continue their duel in traffic as they work through turns one and two. And again, Covoy up over the cushion. Now Macedo trying to take it. Macedo will go to the bottom. Kofoid up top. They come up on the 25 of J.J. Hickel. Advantage Kofoid off of turn number four. The 11 machine in the fourth spot. Spencer Baston runs third. Three wide right there off of turn number two. A 15 in the books. 15 laps to go. And David Gravel tracking down race leader Casey Kane. Six tenths of a second last time by the stripe was the interval from Kane back to Gravel. It is shrinking as they go through three and off of turn number four. David Gravel has closed in on your race leader. Battle for the top spot now into turns one and two. David Gravel. Gravel down low, he will pass Casey Kane. New leader, David Gravel into corner number three. At the same time, Carson Macedo gets by the five of Spencer Baston. Macedo up to the third spot. Baston running in fourth. No lap cars separating second, third, fourth, and fifth on the speedway. David Gravel pulling away from early leader Casey Kane. And now Carson Macedo closing in on that number nine. Gravel into the wall. David Gravel into the wall. And upside down in turn number one. He got together with a slower car. Incredible turn of events here on the front straightaway. David Gravel contact on the front stretch. The MedStar Dirt Track Race Rescue safety team is there on the scene. But Gravel's Billion Automotive, car number two, taking a wild ride here at the end of the front straightaway. Gravel climbing out of the car and walking away very dejectedly. He had just taken the lead a lap earlier. 
But we talked about the traffic factor here at the Houston Speedway. He got into a slower car and then into the wall. Thought for a moment he was going to be able to drive it off the wall, maybe not keep the lead. But then the car dug in and turned over. You can see them checking out the damage to that car as we look at the Dirt Vision replay. From our cool new camera shot in turn number one. And Gravel just tried to sneak between the slower car and the wall and caught the wall with the right rear tire. There was no contact with the lap car. It was David Gravel trying to sneak between the slower car and the outside wall and got the right rear into the concrete. Downstairs to Austin Lloyd. Yeah, and David Gravel jumped out of the race car, and his first thought and immediate thought was work area. Um, he we, uh, bent front axle here on the front end, obviously all four tires down, but in terms of suspension parts on the rear end, I don't know if there's a lot of work to do back there. So David Gravel was initially thinking work area when he jumped out of the car. He's looking over the race car, um, it, setting direction to the officials here, not sure where the two's going to go, but that was his initial response is how bad is it? He thinks he might be able to get back out there. I'm sure they'll take it to the work area and try to get a look at the damage. We'll take another look at the accident there as Gravel came out of turn number four, trying to sneak to the outside of Robbie Price. And you could see that car ride up on the wall, look for a moment like he'd be able to come off the wall, but then it dug in, got up over the cushion, and you could see that it had uh, done some damage to the right rear tire before anything else got torn up in that one. And that means, once again, the leader will be Casey Kane when we go back to green flag action. We'll go downstairs to Chase Rodman. Yeah, as uh, Austin had mentioned there, and Gravel jumped out of the car, immediately came over and talked to his crew guy, Trey Bowman, and told him what needed to be fixed. And it sounded like the, the main concern was that the rear end was intact, and that was indeed the case with Gravel now climbing back into the race car. The rear bumper and the tail tank pretty smashed up, but that seems to be the majority of the damage on the rear portion of the car. Looks like the drag thing needs to be changed. A couple of the radius rods, obviously. The, the front axle needs to come out and be replaced as well. And this is a big deal we talked about during the pre-race show earlier today, John, that David Gravel right now is on um, the longest you know, winless streak in three years with the Outlaws. So uh, he was obviously trying to end that here tonight in a big way, but uh, it's going to be tough to come from the back now. It certainly is. I'm sure Chase will keep us posted from the work area as the crew begins to dismantle the top wing on that car. They also begin to take out the old front axle. And again, as we see time and time again, members from many different race teams down there to try to help get that car back into action. But the engines are coming to life once again. So don't anticipate a lot of time in the work area, perhaps over and above the guaranteed to actually no guaranteed time because we are beyond the halfway point. So just to put a pause on that. There is no guarantee guaranteed time in the work area for David Gravel. We are beyond the halfway point in this feature. 18 complete and 12 laps remaining. New lineup will look like this. Casey Kane will be the leader in the number nine. Carson Macedo will start alongside him now running second in the 41. Spencer Baston runs in the third spot. Buddy Copewood will restart fourth and Logan Shewhart fifth. James McFadden sixth. Donnie Schott seventh. Brad Sweet eighth. Sheldon Hodenshield ninth. And Giovanni Selzy rounds out the top ten. Sean Nista, we've seen a very fast racetrack here. As a matter of fact, David Gravel, the lap before the accident, was still turning laps in the mid-11 second bracket of turn in 11 7.48. Yeah, Casey Kane has been the fastest car in this feature, however. He turned in 11 one four, four, back on lap number three. Now, the track's slicking off a little bit since the early stage of this one, but 11 ones, 11 twos, uh, Macedo, Buddy Kofoid with 11 twos, Logan Schuhart, 11 threes. So, a blistering fast racetrack here, nearly qualifying speeds in this AMA. Down to the infield for an update from Chase Rodman. We can continue to see the action here on the uh, Dirt Vision camera work here. A lot of work still and uh, attention being paid to the front end of that Billion Automotive car number two. We'll try Chase Rodman one more time. Chase? Yeah, sorry, John. Pretty loud down here when everybody came rolling by, but uh, they've got the right rear tire changed. They've already got the wing changed out. They're working on getting the new drag link put in now, and the last part is obviously the most important part, getting that uh, front axle changed, but they're lining up right now. Technical director Tom Devitt is yelling at them, saying they got to get going if they want to make it back onto the racetrack. So again, no guaranteed time in the work area. We make sure the single file running order is correct, and then we will ask leader Casey Kane to choose, and he has done so. He's gone to the inside of the speedway. Cars assembling side by side. I do not believe Gravel will be able to get back out for the restart unless we see something miraculous here. 
Caution lights are out. Gravel will not be allowed to restart. They will continue working if they catch another caution or a red flag. Before we get a lap completed, they can still come back as a lead lap car. So Casey Kane, the race leader. All right, guys. I was too depressed to do a video after the races last night. Man, uh, that billion car looked good. It was fast. We did everything right. Uh, we qualified all right, fourth, ran second. Our heat drew a six for the dash. We passed two cars and ran fourth in the dash. Started fourth in the A main. Kind of was patient, made stuff happen. Got the second, was able to get to the lead. Try to get around a lap car and push it and climb the wall and I couldn't get out of it. Uh, super bummed for everybody at Big Game Motorsports, my guys. Um, Billion Automotive. Um, you know, we junked the car, ran 20th when we realistically should have won the race. So that's on me, guys. I typically don't make those mistakes very often, but last night I did. Um, we're here to go tonight. Um, let's see if we could rebound, get after it tonight, and, uh, you know, have the same race car we did last night and uh, contend for a win, guys. So we will. Uh